Welcome back to the Packaging School Show. Raise your hand if you've been receiving packages at home. Yeah, I see you. Yeah, me too. We're getting packages here. I think we got two packages here today. Uh, the Amazon guy came up and uh, left some packages in the front door. And we're all getting packages during this time because we're home. Being stuck at home, most of us have had to make our purchases online, which has put a lot of pressures on some brands and certainly some delivery systems. In fact, Google used their doodles today as a way to thank those who are on the front lines of continuing to serve us during this global crisis. And among those many heroes are those people that are in the packaging industry, people that are creating the packages and people that are shipping the packages, keeping us all supplied at home. Knowing that packaging can, can really pile up, and while it's a great idea to recycle, it can also be a time to get creative with some of this packaging that we have lying around. Maybe upcycling, if you will. And to give you some tips, our very own Nick has some ideas to get you going. Being stuck at home all day means a lot of us are having to rely even more on online shopping and home delivery to provide us with everything we need to stay not only alive, but well, sane. Sure, the convenience is great, but all these deliveries means a lot of empty boxes and packaging materials littering your home or filling up your garbage or recycling bins. I came across an article talking about how Samsung is introducing some new eco-friendly packaging for some of their TV products, with a focus on reusability in some pretty neat and artistic ways. And that got me thinking that we could all be taking steps like this with our everyday packaging materials just laying around the house. Here's a few ideas. Got empty plastic bags in the house for many shopping trips that you've taken recently? Be sure to save these. Not only can they be reused as actual bags, but a decent collection of them can actually be used as effective dunnage when shipping a fragile item. Empty out the remaining coffee grounds and tea leaves from any K-cups or tea bags you might be using into your garden. This excess that would usually end up in the garbage can actually act as a pretty effective fertilizer. When you've finished up a carton of eggs, try and level up your gardening skill by using the individual pods as seedling starters. And just like plastic bags, egg cartons can actually be used as dunnage as well. They're designed to protect eggs after all. Or, you know, you could still create the world's tiniest tree. There's an endless list out there for fun, homemade craft ideas that can be created out of empty packaging materials. This could act as a great way to occupy your kiddos, or as a creative release to get you away from those spreadsheets for a few hours. Still not enough? Well, I've got a few ideas of my own as well. Don't feel like doing your laundry? Bubble mailers make for surprisingly comfortable socks. Family stressing you out? Try going to your happy place with this innovative box blinder. Miss live music? Anyone can play the drums, right? Grab those old paper towel rolls and just hit something. Got packaging peanuts? See how many it takes to fill up your bathtub. Why not? You've got time. And there you have it. Plenty of ways to reuse all that packaging you've been getting at your house. You're welcome. Thanks, Nick. So, get creative with your packaging. And leave some of those tips in the comment section below. And uh, always remember, keep calm, carry on, and wash your hands. Now, for a little me time. <laughs>